he cried. No, Marie. That word's pronounced enough. But yesterday you said that T-H-R-O-U-G-H was pronounced through. So why isn't E-N-O-U-G-H pronounced anew? It just isn't. Shall we complicate things for her still further by telling her that T-H-O-U-G-H is pronounced though? <laughs> not unless you want to explain it. You <laughs> it's not fair. It should be spelled E-N-U-F. I thought you went fishing. That's a pretty funny looking fish. She looks sick. She'd have been more than that if Bruno hadn't turned up and scared off whatever was following her. From the looks of her, she's suffered from a great deal of exposure in the jungle. How come she's so fat? Well, she's gonna have a baby. And very soon. Oh, oh great! Franz, why don't you get her some milk? She needs some nourishment. A baby animal. We'll get to see it born. Well, I don't know. You know, animals being born, they're not watching a clock. As like as not, you'll be asleep. Then you must promise to wake us. All right, I promise. You shall see it born. Oh, we'll take care of you. and Amanda has completely absorbed our interest, even as we go about our daily chores. have not been restful, for little Marie awakens us time and again, fearful that her mother and I will sleep through the miracle. Johan, hmm. I've never asked you before to break a promise to the children, but now I must. Marie would be heartbroken. How much more heartbroken would she be if she watched something go wrong? Not one of us knows anything about helping an animal give birth. Animals have been doing that for centuries without benefit of midwives. So have women, dear. And not all of them have lived through it. Elizabeth, let's not cross our bridges before we come to them. If our children had been brought up on a farm, they'd know about breeding and birth long before this. But they haven't been brought up on a farm, Johan. And I... Yes, dear? Amanda's starting to walk around a little. That's a good sign. Look, why don't you run back and see if you can get her to eat something? All right. If we were still living our old lives, well, I might be tempted to try and shelter them from this, too, but we're not. Nature is our only ally here in this new life, and the children must know and understand all of it. Birth is the beginning. Do you want them to see the end? You yourself said Amanda was badly battered. We have no way of knowing what other injuries she sustained besides broken ribs. Yet Elizabeth... Go on. It will indeed be a miracle if that poor creature gives birth to anything alive or survives the ordeal herself. I don't think the children, particularly Marie, are prepared for that. My dear, I'm not quite as unfeeling as you may think. If death and not life is what they witness, then so be it. They must learn to cope with that, too. We can't go on protecting them. And remember, 
There could conceivably come a time when they can no longer have us to depend upon. Amanda's all right, isn't she, Mama? She's resting comfortably. Your father's with her now. I'm going to go and join him. Good night, darling. Good night. Enough reading. Out with a candle. Oh, uh, please? Just one more page? It's important. One more page has a magic way of becoming ten more. Good night, dear. Good night, Mother. Good night, children. Good night, Mama. Tomorrow, I'll try feeding her bark. Bark? It says here in the book that a goat's like bark. From trees or from Bruno? Ha ha, very funny. Hmm. Two or three. Two or three what? Amanda may have two or three kids. What are kids? Baby goats. Goats have kids. Dogs have puppies. Sheep have lambs. Cats have kittens. Just like people have babies. People? Yes, of course. How do you think we got here? You mean, I came out of Mama? We all did. Oh. Franz? What? How? I don't know exactly. Why don't you ask Mother? I asked her once where I came from. And? She said we'd talk about it later, but we never did. Well... There has to be a mother and the father. And the mother and the father make the baby together. And the baby grows inside the mother. A mother and a father? Where's Amanda's husband? I guess he was killed in the jungle. Poor Amanda. She must be so lonely. Well, don't worry. She'll soon have her own kid to keep her company. Now go to sleep. All right. Good night. Those are the only sensible words I've heard all night. Now why don't both of you go to sleep? Some sort of cat. Panther, perhaps. Let me try and track it down, Father. Not much point to it, Ernest. It will undoubtedly return. See, dear, the, the nanny, all females, are helpless at the time of birth. And the predators know that. So that cat was just one of the many marauders that will be attracted here. Our job is to secure the camp. We could set traps and snares. Well, that'd be unsafe for our own animals. I want you boys to start gathering wood for fires. We must keep them going day and night. Oh, wait. Ernest, take your gun. I don't want anyone to leave this campsite without a weapon. Yes, Father. Our biggest problem is going to be protecting Amanda from herself. Why, Mama? When her time comes, she'll want to be alone. She leaked through her rope, kicked down the corral. Anything to go off alone to accomplish the birth. We have to keep a very close watch on her. She's her own worst enemy now. That panther and whatever other predators are about, they'll be out there waiting for her. Come 
commencing at dawn, we labored to protect our stock from the predator out in the jungle. Finally, there was nothing more to do but wait. I could see that my dear wife was increasingly anxious about the health of the newest addition to our menagerie. But Franz told me that the book said the goats like to eat bark. Well, she doesn't seem to like anything right now, dear. But if she doesn't eat, she'll starve. Maybe she'd like some milk. She had some yesterday. And there's some left from this morning. Why don't you run and fetch it? All right. Poor thing. I wish I could help you. Hurts you to even breathe, doesn't it? Amanda? Let me, please. All right. You try. Drink this, Amanda. I know you like milk. <laughs> Sleep tight now. All the fires are burning brightly. Nothing will bother us tonight. Amanda did drink them all. That's a good sign, isn't it? I hope so. But she's a long way from being well. Perhaps those medical books Papa's reading will help us. Good night. Good night. found anything at all that's of use to that poor creature. There's a, a whole section here devoted to difficult births. So you've begun to share my concern about Amanda. Well, I still believe that all will go well. However, there's never any harm in being prepared. Johan, her breathing is getting more difficult and shallower by the minute. I fear she will not live long enough to give birth. He'll be in trouble if he does. Bruno's already guarding the corral, and Father's on his way down. Come on, Franz, it's going to be a long night. It's no good, Father. It's just too wet. Well, so are all of us. Let's go back to the treehouse. We'd better get into some dry clothes. You stay here, Bruno. Oh, 
Oh, good morning, dear. Good morning. Where's Marie? She's still in bed. She had a difficult night. She had a difficult night? We're waterlogged. <laughs> There's nobody with Amanda. Well, we left Bruno in charge. Good morning, young lady. I understand you didn't sleep too well. Mama stayed up with me and read to me from the Bible. Hmm. Did that finally put you to sleep? No, it was very pretty. Hmm. Ecclesiastes. Oh, yes, that is pretty. That's poetry. Very appropriate poetry at this time. <laughs> I must confess, when I was her age, I suffered from many a heavy eyelid during Sunday services. I was much older before I found out there was anything but hellfire and brimstone in that book. <laughs> Good for you, dear. Mama! Papa! Amanda's gone! I better take a look. Boys! Amanda's out in that jungle, and so is that cat. Quick as you can. Bring your gun, Ernest. Amanda is gone. She's chewed through the rope. That's Bruno. Come on. Bruno! Bruno's hurt. Easy, boy. Easy, easy. You two take Bruno back. I'm going to find Amanda. It's her time now. as I feared. Well, I can only believe that she'd have succumbed sooner if she hadn't been determined to live long enough for this moment. Why is Amanda so still? Amanda's finished her job now. Her little one is our responsibility. Oh, why, Mama? Why couldn't we do something? We did everything we could, darling. 
Why, if Ernest hadn't found her and brought her back to us, she'd have died in the jungle and her little one with her. Death is a part of life, Marie. We'll never see her again. Yes, we will. Every time we look at her kid, we will see Amanda. We will see her and her baby. should be sufficient for one kid. <laughs> They've become very protective of it. But why shouldn't they? After all, they were there at the birth. And for Amanda's death. Oh, Ecclesiastes? I was reading it to the children earlier. It seemed to comfort them. Hmm. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. And a time for miracles. The miracle of life renewing itself. 